Facing the cameras wasn't an easy task for Sergeant Christopher Mulhall today. He's still recovering from gunshot wounds to the buttocks and arm. Despite the obvious discomfort, his thoughts are for his injured colleagues and the emergency service workers who came to their rescue. At the time they came to, came to the scene, um, as I said before, this, this person was still uh, outstanding and they just came in without regard for themselves. Last Monday, the three officers were called to investigate a neighbourhood dispute on Brisbane's north side. Before they could get out of the car, they were ambushed. A female constable was shot eight times. Her partner was shot twice. Out of the three police, I, I was the lucky person. I received minor, minor injuries. The man police suspect is 32-year-old Nigel Parodi, also known as Jesse James. He's now the subject of an Australia-wide manhunt. Despite several unconfirmed sightings, he's still on the run. It's now been six days since the shooting and police admit they're baffled by the gunman's disappearance. Their main hope is that someone will come forward with the information they need. He's a, he's a sick person. I've been told a bit about his past, his history. He uh, needs to be brought to he needs to be brought to justice and brought to justice swiftly. That's all I can say. The father of Constable Chanel Cole says the family has been overwhelmed by public support. This has really got to us. The kids are four and five and six and whole classrooms have written to Chanel. Constable Cole and her partner Daryl Green have been released from hospital and are in a safe house. Daya Clark, ABC News, Brisbane.